when the narcissist knows that you know. When they know that you figure them out. When they know that you've discovered what they are really about. You have realized and accepted that they are not who they said they were. They are not the person that they made themselves out to be. They mirrored you and appealed to your own ideals. They imitated you and copied your likes and interests to make themselves appear more attractive, more familiar to you. But that was never really what they were about. They just told you what you wanted to hear, showed you what you wanted to see, when they were never about any of that. They knew that you would never be interested in them as they have nothing to offer. There is nothing interesting about them. They are nothing but an empty void. They have no identity. They have no qualities or traits of their own. They are so insecure that they abandoned who they really are to create a false self which is nothing more than bits and pieces taken from other people. People who they deem to be something desirable or attractive. These people could be their friends, past sources, or even celebrities or something they have seen in a movie. If they believe that it's something that people might want to see, they will use it. They will use it to attract new sources. They are very insecure, so they have to use the qualities or traits of other people who they deem to be desirable or attractive to make themselves feel more confident. But it has nothing to do with them. It's not what they're about. They imitated the qualities or traits of other people to trick you and lure you into a fake relationship with a person that doesn't even exist. The false self that they display to you is a fraud. It was designed to deceive you. It was designed to deliberately cause you to believe some th something that is not true for their own personal gain. They intentionally gave you a mistaken impression they did it because they are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They were not thinking about how it would affect you. All they cared about was how they are going to fulfill their own needs. And if they had to trick or deceive you to do that, then that was something they were willing to do. They are very insecure. They believe that you wouldn't be interested in them. You wouldn't be attracted to them. That's why they had to adopt the appearance, qualities or traits of someone else who they deem to be desirable or attractive. Because they believe that they could never be enough for you. And the real person beneath the mask doesn't even exist anymore anyway. They abandoned their true selves such a long time ago that they no longer have access to that person. They don't even exist anymore. That person is gone. All that exists now, other than the empty void within them, is the false self that needs to be constantly propped up and validated by the outside world. The false self cannot be self-validated because it isn't real. It only exists on the surface. So it needs constant attention and admiration to feel as though it exists. When the narcissist knows that you've figured them out. When the narcissist knows that you've discovered what they're really about. 
They are going to step up their game. They are going to escalate the abuse. It will usually be the same tactics that they have used in the past. But now it will be more overt. It will be done more openly. Because they know that you know. So there's no reason for them to hide. There's no reason for them to disguise what they're doing. They will intentionally engage in behaviour that causes physical or mental harm to you. They will gaslight you and try to get you to question your own memory, perception and sanity. They will delay or obstruct certain requests or processes by refusing to answer questions or by being evasive. They will deliberately annoy or taunt you. And they will enforce fly monkeys and start a smear campaign to harm your reputation and remove all traces of you. In some cases, even though they know that you know, they might try to hoover you. They might try to return to the love bombing phase. They might try to give you a fake apology, but at the same time, they'll be trying to shift the blame onto you. They will try to make you feel guilty. They will try to make you feel afraid. They will try to make you feel as though you have a duty or commitment to be with them or to attend to them. If none of these things work, the narcissist will act as though they're the ones that don't want you. They will treat you with contempt. They will treat you as though you are worthless or beneath their consideration. They will escalate the abuse. Most often they will use the same tactics that they have used in the past, but it will be more overt. And now there is more of an intention or objective behind the use of these tactics. They have likely been triangulating or smearing you already since the devaluation phase. They have been preparing or training these people that they have been triangulating or smearing you too to become fly monkeys. Once the narcissist knows that you have figured them out, once they know that you've discovered what they're really about, This is when they will begin to enforce these people as their fly monkeys and use them in a more overt or open way than you have seen before. It usually becomes overt when you are trying to leave them or when you figure them out. This is when they will really start to use their fly monkeys against you. The goal of this is to get you to remain in the relationship. It is to get you to remain around them by weakening you and making you feel as though you can't leave. They want you to stay with them and remain as their constant source of of supply. They need your energy to sustain them. They cannot create any of their own energy. This is why they are so dependent on you. This is why they always have to be around you. They have to steal energy from other people to survive. When the narcissist knows that you are trying to leave them, or if you are trying to expose the truth about them, they will begin to escalate the abuse and enforce their flying monkeys. This is all designed to weaken you and make you feel as though you can't leave. It may seem as though things are getting worse before they get better. But the reason why they are doing all of this is because they know you are about to escape and you are about to free yourself from the abuse. You are no longer going to be their their source of energy. You are no longer going to be their source of supply. You are going through the process of removing the, the toxicity and the negative energy around you. You are going to be able to rebuild your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. 
If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at notrovercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Notrover store where you can purchase your own Notrover t shirt, tank top, or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.